This year is a great year. It is a big year for us, uh, particularly because we are celebrating what we call the Year of the Seeds, which is 2014, and seeds referring to small island developing states. We just came back from Samoa, where the United Nations was celebrating the story of small island developing states after the adoption of an action plan for small island developing states in Barbados in 1994. And then we had another international meeting of its nature in Mauritius uh, in 2005. And now we adopted a new action plan which is going to be valid for the next 10 years. So we have created a special pavilion for them to celebrate uh, this anniversary and also to make sure that they showcase uh, anything that they find to be special. Because small island developing states are very special, they are unique. They've got geographical inhibitions. They are unique in the sense that they also suffer from external shocks, including natural disasters. So you will see we have got a pavilion which is just next to a huge pavilion, which is showcasing the latest technology, latest practices, latest standard operating procedures in relation to disaster risk reduction and disaster management. And if I may add that in 2015, in March, we are going to be in Sendai in Japan, where the world is going to be celebrating a world conference on disaster risk reduction, which also adopts an action plan for the next 10 years. We are, we are going through a difficult time. We are going through challenging times because climate change is a big threat. We are helping countries to adapt and to mitigate the impacts of disaster management with respect to uh, food security issues, but also the emergence of new epidemics like the Ebola. So it is a great issue for us. And uh, we, we have noted when disasters do strike, of course, they destroy within a matter of seconds or minutes, uh, something that was built over 10 years, 20 years, 50 years. And that uh, we have to address to make sure that there is a strong link in terms of uh, what we do for preparedness, what we do for early warning, and what we do when disasters finally strike in terms of response, helping to coordinate humanitarian action. It's a big challenge. Big data, big information, uh, high velocity, moving at high speed, variety of information which needs special processing, the value of information, how you quantify, how you evaluate, and many other Vs that come with it. So it's a big challenge for us, but we find that to be an exciting time in the sense that when you have data available, the only challenge is for you to go through that data and to find value, and that we can do. There are supercomputers that can process that. We have got regulators who work with us, and because of that, we can find a way to have access to that data without compromising personal privacy and that is a critical element. So I would like to let the cat out of the bag and tell you that we just commissioned right now an application which will be downloadable on the Apple Store and that application addresses many of the challenges that policymakers, humanitarian actors and the victims of the, the disaster and the general public uh, confront. So I would say that this is a great opportunity. We are going to showcase some of the applications of big data. We are signing agreements also with a number of actors in order for us to cooperate and facilitate their work because they need to address the regulatory and legal frameworks and the challenges that uh, inhibit their work.